Hello and welcome once again to the Lord of the Rings Adventure Card Game. This is tutorial number three. Uh, number three in a series of five. So, let's go to single player. Yeah. Tutorial three. Nuanced Concepts. Bilbo's sting is a mighty weapon! Glowing Rod. We must recover it. Let us search back along the trail. Master Glowing is correct, Arwen said, then paused to look from Bilbo to the dwarves. And speed is of the utmost importance, but Rosiel knows these woods best, and she and I are blessed with the eyes of the elves. We will find the sword and pack. I will not leave these woods without sting, Bilbo exclaimed in an urgent whisper so as to not draw the attention of any nearby creatures. And I will not abandon Bilbo, Glowin added. Taken aback, Arwen offered a compromise. Rostiel and I will take up this task with Bilbo, but brave dwarf, I request most humbly as Lady of Rivendell that you first carry word to Bjorn and then return. Glowin grumbled to himself a moment. Though not pleased, he understood the import of her request. I will do as you ask. Reluctantly. Arwen bowed in thanks to the dwarves, and with Rossiel, made off with Bilbo. All right, let's go recover Sting. I take comfort in your companionship, friend elves. It is an honor to accompany the great Bilbo Baggins of the Shire. Let us hurry to find your lost blade, then return you to the safety of Bjorn's Hall. Back along the trail, you have two lore heroes in this quest. This gives you access to certain lore cards that you otherwise wouldn't be able to use. We'll explore this further during the quest. We have Arwen, who uh, her upkeep restores one health to one character. She is one attack value, nine health, and three willpower. And she brings nine threat to the threat track. Rustiel brings 9 threat to the threat track. She's 2 attack value, 9 health, and 2 willpower. Her at will power is to recover one of your own unique, one of your non unique allies, grant surge to your next ally played this round. Previous quests have shown how ally and event cards work. Now you have access to additional card types, attachment, and event preparation. Let's look at each now. Quest begins. We'll start with the attachments. Play Bilbo's cloak on Bilbo. Upkeep. Minus one power gain to Sauron. How about it? Attachment is a card type representing armor, weapons, and special abilities. Characters can be equipped with one of each. Gem means a unit has an attachment. Click Bilbo to learn more about the attachment. So the gem right here shows that he has an attachment. We'll click on Bilbo's card. You can see his attachment screen up top here. The attachment tray shows which type of attachments are the character has equipped. Bilbo's cloak. Hover it with the socket to see the, see the attachment's ability text. All right, uh, back along the trail, uh, selling us through advance warning. Preparation is a special type of event card. Once played, it triggers only after the specific conditions are met. Until triggered, the card is hidden from G of Sauron's view. So this preparation card will be hidden over here, and it will advance. It will exhaust the next enemy that enters play. It right there. An active socket means the preparation card is waiting to trigger. Click to view. And now Sauron has a treachery card. Sauron's treachery cards are similar to your preparation cards. They lie in wait, only revealing their effects after you've taken a specific action. Alright. 
else can we have that preparation and wait? Ah, uh, let's see here. He's got guard, so go ahead and attack him with two. Lazy lob. We'll hit him with another two. The enemy is upon us. And he's gone. Defeat three spiders. We can do that. And she'll strike with one. Watchers in the dark. Plus one threat. Treachery! If you ever want to review or learn more about any gameplay terms or concepts, the glossary can help. You can access it through the options menu down here. You wrap. Arwen's upkeep restores one health to one character. I think we'll get to build it this time. You start each quest with 30 cards and draw from the deck each round. If you draw all your cards before you the end of the quest, you can only use whatever cards are in your hand, in play, or available in the bait meter. Don't forget. You have gameplay options in addition to your heroes and your deck. The fate meter often has effects that come in handy. Some cards are tailored to specific spheres, indicated by the sphere level. They have potent effects for their cost, but including them in your deck requires two or even three heroes of that sphere. Alright, what have we got over here in the fate meter? Blint of Steel? Ah, you can recover a uh, stain. I want to put some hope over there. Good company. Bowen returns to us. At five, we get a hearty meal. Restore three health each to one character. Okay. Um, I think we want to recover Sting. That's probably a good idea, so I'm going to take her and drop her over here on the fate meter. have a obstacle in the way. Oh. Every time we play a card. Oh, gotta get rid of that too. Alright, let's knock that out. We are going to draw Sting. I thought we were going to draw Sting. Okay, here we go down to the bottom. I couldn't even see the buttons. Alright, Sting is now in our hand. And go ahead and equip that on Bilbo if we want to. Now take a taste of my elvish blade. It's Sting! Now you'll see that he have both equipped up here. Treachery triggers! If you want to review recent actions in the game, click to open the history panel. The history panel stores recent actions that you and Sauron have performed in the game. Hover over each icon for more information. And we exhausted that enemy. Remember we had uh, the preparation loaded there. So now we have Bilbo with three. Uh, we'll go ahead and knock out that spider. The Elven Blade Sting grants a bonus against Spider and Orc units. Benefits like this can help your adventure or hinder them, since enemies may have them also. Always read cards to see if they provide any special benefits. Yes. Defeat two Spider units or defeat every enemy on the board. Alright. Don't really have anything we can play there. Let's see what we've got in our hand. One, one, four, two, five, with block, two, zero, five. Let's throw out the hop. Shortcuts make delays, but ends make 
longer ones. You just exhaust our ally. New round. Upkeep. Once again, I think we'll give uh, Bilbo another one of health back. You can have up to nine cards in your hand at a time. When you have nine cards at hand, you can't draw any more until your hand size is reduced. Alright. Bilbo has plus one, so we're going to hit him with this big spider over here. And we need to defeat one more spider. Oh, we've already done it. You've completed the goal of this location. Travel now to avoid the looming threat. All the spiders are gone, so let's go. Sensing the imminent arrival of yet more spiders, Arwen stood closer to Bilbo. A click, click, clicking echoed in the darkness, indicating many legs and mandibles approaching. She worried that she and Rossiel could not alone provide the protection they had promised if they tarried much longer. I fear that we may not locate your pack, friend Hobbit, she whispered. Perhaps it is time we retired to the safety of Yorn's Hall for the night, we can resume our search tomorrow in the light of day. Spiders closed in all around, some skittering along the leaf-strewn forest floor, while others dropped from the gnarled branches above. At the edge of their vision, a great spider menaced them, much larger than the rest. Was it directing the others? If so, for what purpose? Bilbo swallowed hard, feeling fear, despite the reassurance he felt from his companions. I think you are correct, he chuckled, a forced mirth he did not feel. Uh, let us depart this place presently. Oh, spiders, spiders, and more spiders. Whoa. Okay. I'll give person health back. Stalwart. That sounds interesting. Stalwart is a powerful keyword that gives you one extra action per round. Very nice. A unit was just summoned. Click cameo to learn more about summoning. Units with the summon icon aren't directly played. Instead, they appear as the result of a triggering effect. Summon units are exempt from enters play effects like from advanced warning or thick webs. Alright. Uh, what have we got here? Need to escape the gloom. Power to Sauron. Ooh. Random ally. Just every ally that enters play. Wow. Okay. Um let's go ahead and start knocking out some of these oh I can't. I gotta I gotta kill the spider, but fortunately Bilbo can do that in one shot. Let's go ahead and take him out. Now we'll see if we can knock down some of these obstacles. Or at least one of them. Oh, yeah, now we have some bats on the ground. Uh, let's see here, do we have anybody with the ranged ability? We've got a guard, a block, and a block. I really would love to play that, but I feel like I need to put some damage at her on the board. Then again, I can't really hit that guy. Thing. Nope. I have nobody that can shoot flying targets. And I have nobody that can knock out any of these objectives with one shot. So what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and get the star brooch out here. I'm going to give that to Harold. She takes damage. Now he's on the ground so we can kill it.
ahead and knock this one out. And I'll get rid of that exhaust theory ally. The threat meter needs to come down a little bit too though. Gonna try and knock this one down. Alright. Another spider on the board. I think we probably need to drop the guard down here. Those with the power can do this. We'll drop this one down here. That be enough to hit. Of the enemy. Some units have block. This keyword reduces damage taken each attack by one. Oh! That hurt. So, the upkeep phase. Unexpected company, a giant spider. The creatures before you are more than enough to occupy your attention, so the sudden arrival of yet another giant spider is like some cruel joke, and you are definitely not amused. I think I'm going to try and keep Bilbo in the battle. Give him the good point. Gandalf! Alright. Can't do anything but attack the giant spider right now, so... Build over that. Oh. Well. Oh. You've received a card with a fleeting keyword. Units with fleeting leave play at the end of the same round in which they're played. Some cards require you to choose from several options. Consider each choice carefully before you make a decision. It can be helpful to review the board state or even units to see their details. So Gandalf is fleeting. His arrival will either draw three cards, deal three damage, or remove three power. Or remove three uh, threat from the fate meter. That's pretty good to have. Alright. Still have nobody that can take out the bat. It's two actions, so we'll use her to knock out some of the instructions. There we go. Lost our hobbit. That's okay. Alright. Uh, we need one more to finish this. Bilbo is in captured. Spiders swarm all around, creating a wall of Bulba's bodies. Try as you might, you cannot prevent them from taking Bilbo. One moment he's fighting beside you, the next he's engulfed in webs and spirited away. To what fate you cannot, dare not, imagine. Bilbo! No! The onslaught of the spiders finally paused, but only for a moment as they sought to regroup. In the confusion of the melee, the companions had become separated, though each was fully aware of the calamity of Bilbo's capture. The spiders seemed to coordinate their attack with a purpose, and the abduction of Bilbo was not mere happenstance. They must have wanted the aging hobbit for some purpose only they could understand. Dark as this event was, there was one glimmer of hope, in that they clearly wanted him alive. And that meant he could be rescued. If only the companions could gather again at Bjorn's Hall and then stage a rescue. But the lull in the battle was over, and the spiders were gathering once again in greater numbers. The first task was simply survival. Only then could a rescue be attempted. And that was the end of tutorial three. 
please like and subscribe if you feel generous. And I hope you're looking forward to tutorial four, which will be coming shortly. Thank you for watching.